that's it. It's war against them. Stay tuned. Squirrel drive number one. Let's see if we can shake some of these boys out of the tree. Stay tuned. Okay, get in there. He's up on top. He's up towards the top. Whew. All right, guys. That one took a little extra work. A little gunslinging action. Let's walk up there, Quinn. But we got him. a little extra. Do you see him? Dead. Alright. Pick him up. Another one. That's a good one. Number two. Yep. A couple less vermin in the woods. And the start of a good catch, cook, and clean. Catch, clean, and cook. Uh, stay tuned here. We're going to get these things scun up. And we're going to start a little quick recipe for squirrels. Because that's right. I had enough of them. It, it is. The squirrel's revenge. All right, everyone. We're to the uh, cooking part of this. There's a little bit of prep into this. What we didn't do is we didn't show any of the bloody skinning or quartering of the squirrels. There's plenty of videos out there you can do that with. Jump on YouTube, I might even have one in the link. I'll take a peek for, for everybody. But if you're squirrel hunting, you should probably, you're probably that far that you know how to skin and, and quarter one up. So I have my quartered pieces right here. And I have the Lucky Instapot, which my wife is not happy that I'm using. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a cup of water to the bottom of the Instapot. Then I'm going to take my quarters and I'm going to put them in there. I just had them soaking in some, some salt water in the meantime while we got everything together. And I have two squirrels in here. Might not take that long, but it's what we harvested. All right, I'm gonna put the cover on. There we go. Plug her in. What you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go to manual on your, your unit. I'm gonna do high pressure for 30 minutes. It's set. And then we're naturally going to release on this one too. So stay tuned, Instapot, 30 minutes, high pressure, naturally release. Step two, came out of the uh, Instapot, I threw a little barbecue sauce on it with a little bit of Lowry's, and I'm going to hit it on the grill. 
I think the Instapot has its has its greatness to it to loosen things up, but I love a good char to it when it's all done. A couple little vitlins there. Oh yeah, look at that. Stay tuned, this is not gonna take long. Not long at all. All right, again, the only reason I'm putting it on the grill is just to give it a little bit of, little bit of firmness to it because the Instant Pot can, <clears throat> can make it, you know, it's like a, it's like a crock pot, right? Fall apart. Oof, this looks beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm trying to get it all off here. Oof. All right. Oof. Dang it. Dog's going to get a good piece there. All right. Let's bring her in. Try her out. Okay, everyone. Final product. So we have left of the squirrel. Put it on the grill. It was fabulous. I mean, might need to go back and whack like 30 or 40 of those things to really fill you up. Um, see the background because <laughs> cooked a little liver and onions. Not a huge hit in our family, but uh, I like it. It's a good treat once in a while. Through the Instapot, then on the grill, it is the best way to do it. I really like it. Super tender. It's like a little mini chicken. A little uh, even smaller than a little rotisserie. So uh, there you go. Get a little revenge. Whack them squirrels. See you on the next episode. Later.